wanted to talk about three scams that are rampant right now and two scammers actually contacted me this week trying to get my money. All right, let's go over to Instagram. Now on Instagram, the most prevalent scam right now is the NFT scam. Here, the scammers are trying to buy your artwork as an NFT. And so they're really hoping that you don't have your artwork set up as an NFT. I think if you actually send them the link, they will just ignore you. If you don't, one of two things will happen. So they'll either volunteer to help you set up your NFT. And in that case, they want you to send money to them to cover the startup costs or what they call the gas fees. Or the other option is that they'll send you a link to a reputable website. The girl sent me to Rarible. It is just a fake website. They want you to put in your information, your artwork, and then again, pay the setup fees. And then when they get it, you just kind of disappear. They take down the website and you're left kind of sad. Mm. All right, so what are the red flags to watch out for? So number one, the NFT collector scammer is someone who just started following you, maybe within the last day or week. Red flag number two, they will send you a picture from your grid and then compliment you in a very vague way. It's very nice. It is unique. It's obvious that you know what you're doing. They have to be super generic because they have to send messages to a lot of people. So the more generic, the better on their end. Number three, they will offer you a ton of money for your NFT. The lady offered me $16,000 for an artwork that I sold for $3,000. If it is too good to be true, it usually is. Ooh, and sneaky red flag number four. Okay, so the scammer's Instagram profile actually looks super real and I think it's because that they download someone's actual profile and then re-upload it as their own. So I accidentally did this when I was trying to download my friend's picture of her and her dog as a reference photo and I went to download it and it downloaded her entire Instagram account. I mean her photos, her videos, like everything. And so I think that's what these people are doing. Also, if you look at their follower count, it looks pretty normal, but here is the red flag. If you click on the followers, what you will see is artists, 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 artists. All of their followers will be artists, which is super duper weird if it's a personal account. Like where are your friends? Where are your family? All that stuff. So the reason why it's artists, these are all the people that they're trying to scam. And it's actually an Instagram growth hack for artists who have under 10,000 followers to follow everyone back. So anyway, let's read what this person has said. Red flag number one, don't know who she is. She followed me and I think she messaged me the following day. This is what Marja said. Hello there, I went through your page and I must confess you've got unique paintings and I think they are very exceptional. Red flag number two, very, very vague compliment. I'm very interested in purchasing one or more of your pieces if they are up for sale, preferably as NFTs. I'm sure I'll put in a good offer. I knew this was a scam, but then I thought this is a good video. So I said, hey, sorry for the late reply, blah, 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 let's do this. She then doesn't say anything back, but sends me a photo of my piece of art from my grid and says, I find this piece in particular very unique and rare, and I'm sure to make a good profit from the resale of this piece as an NFT. Another very vague compliment, which you also benefit through the percentage royalties. I'm interested in purchasing this piece of art in particular as an NFT with an offer of 16,000 USD. Red flag number four. And then I said, cool, let's do this and she said you're interested and I said yes yes I am and then she sends me a link to a fake rareable website so red flag number five so I know some of you are like Kathy you just lost out on sixteen thousand dollars I know it seems that way doesn't it yeah here's the thing if you think about Real NFT art collectors, think about their psychology, how they would do this. Think about when you buy art. Are you going to go on Instagram and follow random people and then like that you don't know in that day or the next day say, I want your piece? Like that's not really what they do. There are actual NFT art collectors and what they do do is essentially go to an equivalent of an art gallery, an NFT art gallery, and they will go to Rarible, to Mintable, to Super Rare, to OpenSea 
and then they'll buy their NFTs there. Why? Two reasons. The way you make money through an NFT is the sell of that NFT. The more people see it, the more likely it'll resell. The other thing is that they might actually approach an artist and say, hey, have you ever thought about digging an NFT? But it's not going to be a rando that they just follow. It's going to be an artist that they've been following, that they have a good relationship with, someone that you have been nurturing. That is it for NFTs. All right. Let's go to the next scam. This next one is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, I like to call it man buys art for a wife. So in this one, the scammer is hoping that you accept checks as a form of payment. Spoiler alert, they bounce, but not at first. So the art collector is actually going to buy a piece of art from you and send you a check. You will receive it, deposit it, and it'll look like you have money in the bank. But checks and banks work like this. So when you deposit a check, the bank actually takes five to six days to clear that check. But in order not to piss off their customers, they loan you that money, which is why it looks like you have money in your bank account. Now, once five to six days pass, then the money that comes from whoever gave you the check will reimburse the bank. But in this scam, within those five to six days, the art collector will contact you and say, hey, um, I changed on mine, never mind. Or they would have accidentally overpaid you a couple hundred dollars and ask you to refund that money. To you, you're like, sure, why not? And you send that money back, right? Then five to six days later, the bank comes the check has bounced, and so what does it do? It takes that money to reimburse itself from your money. So what are the red flags? Red flag number one, it is someone you do not know. It is someone out of the blue. They can contact you via any of your social media accounts or email, which is how I was contacted. Red flag number two, they are buying, it's usually a man that is buying art for his wife for a special occasion. It's either a wedding anniversary or a birthday. Red flag number three, just like the social media scams, they will compliment your art in a very generic way. Again, because they have to send hundreds, thousands of emails every single day. Red flag number four, they ask for you to send them a list of your art and prices, which is weird even if you do have a website or portfolio online. Red flag number five is that they have a crazy budget with a crazy range. So most buyers will say like, hey, I have a range of like, you know, a thousand to three thousand, or is really trying to stick under five thousand or, you know, I was really looking for 10,000 to 15,000. That's usually how ranges work with art collectors. The ranges that they're gonna say is anywhere from like 1,000 to 70,000, which is like too big of a spectrum, do you see? And then the sixth flag, they will ask you if you take checks as a form of payment. That's a big flag. <laughs> All right, let me read the one that was sent to me and we'll point out the flag. So I got this email from a guy named Christian and I don't know a Christian, never met him. And the subject line is gift for my wife, which is literally the name of the scam. So it says, hello there. My name is Christian from Asheville, North Carolina, which is kind of a weird thing to say in an email. I have been on the lookout for some artworks lately in regards to my upcoming wedding anniversary for my wife which is just around the corner. I stormed on to some of your works, which I found quite impressive and intriguing. Super generic compliment. I must admit that you're doing quite an impressive job and you undoubtedly good at what you do. Generic compliment. With that being said, I would like to purchase some of your works as a special surprise to my wife to honor our upcoming wedding celebration. It would be of help if you could send me some pictures of your piece of work with their respective prices and sizes, which are ready for immediate or close to immediate sales. My budget for this is within the price range of $1,000 to $30,000. Too big of a price range. I look forward to reading from you in order to know more about your pieces of inventory. As a matter of importance, I would also like to know if you accept checks as a means of payment. Best regards, Christian. So I actually replied to Christian saying like, hey, I conduct all my business via website. I'm happy to do business that way. Never heard from him again. All right, let's go to the next scam. Before I move on to my next scam, let me know in the comments below if you have either received a message for the NFT scam or the guy trying to buy art for his wife. 
My next scam is technically a business, but man, will it cost you money. Okay, I am talking about the vanity galleries. These galleries are in premium places like New York City, LA, Miami, Paris, and they are beautiful. You will want to be in these galleries. You will want to be able to tell your family and friends that your art are in these galleries, in these beautiful cities. But here is the problem with their business models. Unlike regular galleries that make their money from selling your artwork, these vanity galleries make their money by selling their wall space. So they make their money from you. The problem with this is that they have zero incentive to help your career grow or to sell your artwork because they already made their money from you. When a vanity gallery contacted me, I think the starting price was $2,500 and went all the way up to $14,000. All right, so this is a little more intricate than the other two scams. So I'm going to make a separate video where we really dive into the pay to play situations and what to watch out for. But let's look at just kind of the overall red flags for this kind of vanity gallery approach. All right, so red flag number one, they will contact you and you will not know who they are. You will never have stepped into their gallery. You would never have contacted them in any sort of way. So they will contact you again out of the blue. Red flag number two, they are gonna try everything they can in their power to get you on a call. They want to love bomb you so that you believe that this is a good relationship. And then, the biggest red flag of all is that they are going to send you multiple packages for you to choose from. All right, I hope this video has helped you from getting scammed. Go to the next one where I do a deeper dive into vanity galleries and other pay to play situations because they are tricky. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.